In this video, I'll explain how to calculate the positional tolerance for bolt holes used to join two or more parts together. In this example, I'll use the fixed fastener formula, meaning one part has tapped holes for the screws to thread into, and one or more parts have clearance holes. When a single fastener is placed in the center of a clearance hole, the fastener will have half of the difference of the hole diameter and the bolt diameter as shown by the red cylinder. In the case of this quarter socket head cap screw, in a loose fit clearance hole, there will be a 15 and a half thou radial gap. When calculating the positional error allowed for a screw hole, the maximum material condition is used. The maximum material condition for the hole will be the drill size called for, as the drill cannot drill smaller than its diameter. For the fastener, it will be the nominal size, in this case 0.25. For a half inch screw, the MMC is 0.5 and for an M8 bolt, it's eight millimeters. When the drill cuts the hole oversize and the fastener is smaller than its nominal size, there is a bonus tolerance. If there are two holes used to join parts together and one part has a clearance hole and the other has the threaded hole to receive the fastener and the holes are perfectly aligned, there will be 15 and a half thou clearance between the socket head cap screw and the cylindrical edge of the hole. However, when calculating the positional tolerance for the holes, the worst case scenario must be used. For example, if the clearance holes were 3.0156 apart and the tapped holes were 2.984, the bolts would be pressing tightly against the clearance hole wall. In this case, the positional tolerance for both the clearance and the threaded hole will be H minus F divided by 2. For this example, the positional tolerance would be 15 and a half thou. Because this is a positional tolerance, the feature control frame as shown here would be added to the hole collet for both holes. If the clearance hole was changed to a normal fit, the hole size would be 0.2656 and the positional tolerance would now be 7 thou 8 tenths. If the clearance hole was 9 millimeters and the socket head cap screw was an M8, the positional tolerance would be half a mil. If these two parts both had clearance holes and a bolt and nut were used to fasten them together, then the floating fastener formula would be used. For two holes, the floating fastener formula is T equals H minus F. In the case of the normal fit quarter inch clearance holes, the positional tolerance would be 15 and a half thou. If the same two parts are now held together by four bolts and nuts as shown here, the allowable positional error will be less than for two bolts. The worst case scenario would now be if each hole was out of position at a 45 degree angle away from the center of the holes. Therefore, for four holes with the floating fastener, the formula becomes T equals H minus F divided by the square root of two. In this scenario, the positional tolerance is now 11 thou. When there are four fasteners joining two parts and one part has tapped holes to receive the screws, the fixed fastener formula becomes T equals H minus F divided by two times the square root of two. Therefore, for this part using four quarter inch socket head cap screws, the positional tolerance for the holes would be five and a half thou. When a hole position needs to be checked quickly in process, the cylindrical position tolerance can be converted to a plus minus tolerance. When checking parts using the plus minus tolerance, parts not to the specification should not be scrapped but set aside for further inspection. The plus minus tolerance will be one half of the perfect square which can fit inside of the cylindrical zone. The formula to find the plus minus tolerance is the diameter of the zone times 0.7071 divided by 2. In the case of the 5.5 thou positional tolerance, the plus minus tolerance would be plus or minus 1 thou 9 tenths, and there is no longer bonus tolerance.